About 100 people from Asheville made the trip south. News 13's Hope Hanselman went with them this weekend. She is live in Selma tonight. Hope, an emotional day there for many. A special one to be a part of, Frank. As you saw, President Barack Obama stood on this bridge just this afternoon and spoke to a sea of people who traveled from across the country to be here. And at the very front of that crowd was Robert Zachary. 50 years. As the daylight runs out. 50 years. Much reflection is made on this anniversary of Bloody Sunday. The past few days I've been getting really emotional thinking about the glorious past. Robert Zachary had long been waiting to cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge. I had several little breakdowns. Doing so this week brought back that sort of release his peers fought for half a century ago. Weeping keeps you free. Weeping is, is freedom just all bundled up and splashing out. Zachary was just 15 growing up in Alabama when crowds of black protesters began their march on these steps of a church. They gather here again to keep on marching. Slavery just went into another form and we have to understand that. And the gospel they preach is equality for all. It became um, faceless. It became colorless. It became the masses. The movement of hundreds has now rippled to hundreds of thousands this weekend with new generations arriving in town, a sign to Zachary that days and years can pass. But the story cannot be lost. People like myself who were in the movement, that is the story being written again. Tomorrow, Zachary will be one of thousands to take a ceremonial march across this bridge. He also brought with him from Asheville a letter from Mayor Manheimer. He'll be delivering that to the mayor of Selma here. He plans to do that before he heads home. Reporting live in Selma, Alabama, Hope Hanselman, News 13.